Buying underrated players in Football Manager and having them turn into stars is one of the best feelings you can get in the game and that feeling is made even better when those players came really cheap. So in today's video we'll be focusing on a team of cheap beasts. All of these players are different prices from different leagues and there'll be a player for every single save including yours hopefully. So let's run the intro and get right into it. Hi everyone, Jake here. Welcome to the video where, as mentioned today, we're going to be focusing in on some cheap beasts in FM23. Now, we did a version of this a few months back before the winter update. This one's being recorded after the winter update, but don't worry, it's a completely brand new set of players. We've got 15 to look at today that I class as cheap beasts with really good value for money. All of them will be £2 million, £1 million or under, all with at least decent current ability or potential ability. We've got some wonder kids, some established players, someone for every save we've got players from different leagues as well so don't worry about how big your database is there should be at least a few people in this list for everyone if you do enjoy this video please go ahead and smash that like button for us we'd massively appreciate it it lets youtube know that people are enjoying the content and then they go ahead and push it out into more eyes so if you could do that that would be awesome and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already and the final thing to note before we start in the last version of this in the comments down below people put some cheap beasts that i didn't talk about we've included some of those names from part one in this video for part two so if you think that someone's missing and you want to see them in the next part let us know in the comments down below and we can add them to the next one from this series but with that being said we've talked enough let's go check out some cheap beasts and we're starting off strong with a 20 year old Swedish national by the name of Sebastian Nenassi now he is playing for Malmo a club out in Sweden and he has got bags of ability but also plenty of potential just for reference for the rest of this video we're currently managing Manchester City so ignore the star ratings these guys are being compared to Haaland and De Bruyne and players of that ilk so don't worry about the stars but what you're seeing here is a player that will cost you under a million pounds he has a lot of ability straight away not for maybe a Premier League level just yet but he certainly has the potential to get to that point for a high level championship team let's say if we use England as the reference point for this video I think he'd be a great pick before this video I also had another save where I checked all 15 of these players to make sure they were all still cheap and don't worry they are their price might vary slightly Slightly, but most of the time the value should be about the same as what you're seeing here but the reason I mention that is the Nassi in that save had interest straight away from PSG Chelsea and Manchester United he doesn't have it in this save I can only assume he had better potential in the last save maybe and that's why there was more interest but if you do want him get a scout on him and you might have to act quick if there's interest in him but he's a great talent on that left hand side cutting in on the right foot good dribbling good first touch and someone that could definitely help your team and if you want someone on the opposite flank for a cheaper value, then you might want to check out Alejandro Zendejas, who plays for Club America out in the Mexican divisions. Now, he is a former under-20 international for the USA. He's 24 years of age now and is valued at about £300,000. Now, he spent the majority of his career out here in Mexico, and he's now a regular starter for his side, but he is so cheap for the player you're getting here. I don't know why, because he's still got quite a while on his contract, but he's got lots of ability. If you're looking for someone to cut inside on their left foot, then he could be the guy for you. Great dribbling, great crossing, good finishing ability as well. He's a great passer with 15 passing, 14 technique, 15 vision. There's literally nothing wrong about this guy. I don't know why he is so cheap, but we're not going to be bothered about that. We're just going to look at him, scout him. If he looks good, get him signed up because that kind of transfer valuation is so cheap for this kind of player. Don't worry though, if you're someone who's thinking, I don't have a Swedish division, I don't have the Mexican division in my save loaded up, or well, don't worry because there's probably a good chance you've got the German division loaded, and in pretty much everyone's save, you'll be able to find this man, Felix Paslak of Dortmund. Now he, at the start of the saves now, after the winter update, starts off transfer listed at a million pounds, which to me is great value. He used to be a wonder kid in FM. I've used him for years now in my FM saves. He's a real good bargain player. And even though he doesn't have that much technical ability, either in an attacking sense or a defending sense, it tends to be because he's so quick on that right hand side and he works so hard he's always tracking he always goes forward always gets to the byline and pulls passes back for someone to finish he's never really let me down and for about one million pounds there's not much he could do to really make that a waste of a transfer even if it's just to be your backup right back but he's someone that's just waiting for that opportunity in the first team he's valued at one million pounds and his wages 
might be fairly high, so he might be one for a more premium club. But do bear in mind his contract's expiring at the end of the first year. If no one buys him, he could be available as a free agent. And if so, I mean, it's definitely hard to go wrong with him. A solid player could be a good backup or even a regular starter for a low-level Premier League team. Maybe he just needs a manager to give him a chance. On to the next player now, player number four out of 15. And he is one of my favorites. Not my favorite, though. Stick around until the end of the video to see that. Yes, I'm using that old YouTube trope of saying stick to the end for the final player. But trust me, everyone along the way is more than good enough to stick around for anyway. And that is backed up by this man, Oscar Perea, who is one of my favorites for a number of reasons. But first... We're just going to cover the basics. He's 16, he's got loads of potential, and he's dirt cheap. What more could you want there? Then you factor in that he's already got lots of ability straight away. He's a good finisher, good dribbler, good first touch, good technique. And whilst he is lacking in some areas, look, he's only 16, and things are going to change for him as time goes on. He'll develop a lot, and he can be a top-tier player for you. He's playing for a club out in Colombia by the name of Atletico Nacional, so that's where you'll find him. But the reason I love him, if you don't know already, I have my own channel linked in the description down below below where we have an Aberdeen save. Now on that save, we signed Oscar Perea for dirt cheap and he's gone on to be an absolute star for us and led us all the way to a Champions League final. So that's why I love him. And as a side note, if you do want to come and check out my channel, I'd really appreciate any support over there. We're making a push for 20k subs. So anyone that could come along, watch the content, hit the subscribe button. I really, really would appreciate it. Not only do we do the Aberdeen save, we also have some one-off rebuild videos and some YouTube shorts about wonder kids you might not have heard of. So to anyone who does come over and checks my channel out you're an absolute legend but yes Oscar Pereira is player number four and now let's move on to player number five and it's going to be the most expensive player in this video so this is the boundary we're setting and it's Moussa Dembele now originally I wasn't going to put him in the video because he is 2.5 million pounds and then I thought hold on that's Moussa Dembele for 2.5 million pounds. This is a guy that, look, I don't know what his currently on situation is. His contract's expiring soon. Maybe they don't want him anymore. I, it's a really cheap fee. But yeah, this is a guy that scored goals to fun for Celtic, got a big move to France, scored a goal every other game, did the same the next season, and then very recently scored 20 goals in 30 appearances only a couple of years ago. So I don't know what his situation is, but if he is available for £2.5 million, if you're a top club looking for a striker or a backup striker, he could be the one for you. Definitely one for the more premium teams with the wages that he's going to ask for. But the fact that a team like Brentford, a good Premier League sider after him, goes to show there is still quality there. If we highlight him as an advanced forward, he's still got a lot of ability. He's someone that I think would be a great player for many a team. He's still got five or six years left of playing at a top level. For this kind of value, he is an absolute bargain. And I'm sure with a bit of love, he'll be scoring for you very soon. Next, we have the only goalkeeper in this video. It's Ivica Ivusic, a Croatian international with five appearances for the national team, who's 27 years of age, and he plays for Pafos, a team out in... Is that Cyprus? Yeah, it looks to be Cyprus. So I can't lie, I haven't really heard of a team before and apologies if any of my pronunciations in this video aren't great. But Ivusic here would be a good goalkeeper if you're after maybe a backup in the Premier League or a high level championship goalkeeper. You can't really do too much wrong with him. He's not a modern day goalkeeper by any sense, not a great passer, doesn't rush out well and has bad first touch. But if you're looking at, you know, what a goalkeeper was known to do for years, dominate his box in the air, six foot five, great reflexes, good one-on-one -on -one ability, physically very very dominant, imposing in the box. He would be the perfect man for you. He's got a lot to his game already, valued at about £1 million. Again, another one where it's very hard to go wrong for this kind of value. He is one, though, of a few players in this list where he has recently joined his side. So you're going to have to scout him, wait a little bit of time, whether it's January or the following summer, then try and make the approach. But definitely worth putting a scout on. Could be a good goalkeeper for you. I really like the look of him. Certainly one that fits the bill for me of being a cheap beast. Back to you people who only have the main leagues loaded. We're heading over to the Bundesliga yet again to Freiburg and we're looking at Ghanaian international Daniel Kofi Kairea who's 26 years of age plenty of international experience and plays on the left hand side cutting in on his right foot whilst also being natural in that 10 position but also across a variety of different areas of the game but I think as an inside forward on this right hand side he would do a great job because he's a good finisher good dribbling ability he's quick he's agile he's gonna mince his fullback get through and take a shot on goal he's got a lot going for him already a couple of years left on his contract and he's valued at about £1 million. Another one where he's recently joined his club, so you are going to have to wait a little bit, but he's someone with a lot of talent, potential to get better still with a few years left on his clock. 
Freiburg look to have got themselves a real gem on their hands here, but if his transfer valuation stays at about this level, he's definitely worth going in for, making an offer and making part of your team. I'm trying to move through these players fairly quickly so that I don't keep you guys here forever, but our next player is Christopher Zakariasen, who plays for Ferenc Verosh out in Hungary. Now, he is a gem of a midfielder. He's 27 years of age, a Norwegian international who works like anything for the team. Natural fitness of 17, stamina of 18 and 17 work rate. He's going to get up and down to try and support your side. Ball winning midfielder, box to box midfielder. I think box to box. I think if you put him as a ball winner, you're kind of reducing his game a little bit because yes, he can tackle, but he's also good at passing. He's got a good shot on him as well. He can finish nice. He can dribble past people and he's someone that can play as a 10 position and he likes to get into the opposition area. So I think box to box would be a great role for him. A hard worker getting up and down, valued at about £1 million at his current club. He's an important player. Another one where he's recently signed from Rosenborg. Don't worry, there's not too many more of those in this video where you can't get them straight away. But still, scout him, wait a little bit of time, and you might be able to get him. As a side note, in one of the rebuilds I did on my channel with Valencia, which, by the way, has only just came out, if you want to check that one out, but his contract expired after a few years, and we picked him up as a nice free agent, and he was valued at like 10, 15 million within a year or so. So I thought he was a good pickup, just to let you know he might end up being a free agent in your saves. Scout him, add him to your shortlist, and maybe you can make a move for him at some point. But we continue our world tour with our next player who is Ivy Lopez who plays for Rakov out in Poland. Now he is a 27 year old Spaniard. He's been there for a few years now at the club and it looks like he had a great year last time out. 20 goals in 32 appearances. I assume because of that Sports Interactive seemed to have given him a boost or maybe he was always like this and he just flew under the radar but the Spaniard is a set piece expert. Great free kicks, great penalties. He can pass well, nice vision, good long shots, finishing ability, dribbling, first touch, mental attributes are there physical attributes are there what more could you want from a player that's going to cost you about two million pounds he's a number 10 through and through everything you'd want from a number 10 player originally came through at Getafe then to Sevilla he's done the Spanish tour ended up in Poland and maybe his next destination is your team we had Passlack earlier now we've got another German fullback by the name of Marnen Busch who plays for Heidenheim a team in the second division of Germany now I was really surprised when I found this guy sitting in the second division no offense to his club or the league he's in but for about one million pounds and a year left on his deal you're getting a really talented right back again ignore the star ratings because we're man city if we look at him in an attribute sense Physical attributes are there. He's quick, he's strong, nice balance as well. Everything you'd want really for a right back, he's got. Work rate is also there at 17. He can cross really well and tackle. Maybe his passing lets him down, maybe his first touch and dribbling. But realistically, these players aren't going to be Neymar and Bappe Haaland. There's a reason they're cheap. There's a reason you haven't heard of them. But I think Bush here could be a very good right back, particularly in the attacking sense. For so cheap, it's hard to go wrong. I think he's got a lot going for him and he's still got a few years left. If you were a high level championship team or low-level Premier League team, I really do think he'd just slot into your side and you'd have no complaints. Yes, he's a Bundesliga 2 player. Don't let that fool you. This guy is very talented. Five players left now. We're getting close to my favourite, but this one is certainly up there. It's Aldo Florenzi of Cosenza, a team in the second division of Italy. Interesting thing to note about Florenzi, nothing to do with him as a player, but when we originally made this video of Cheat Beasts a few months ago before the winter update with a whole other bunch of players, one of the comments down below was check out Aldo Florenzi. And now look where we are in the second episode. We've got him in the team. So remember to drop the people down below that you think I've missed. Obviously, there's so many cheap beasts. I haven't really missed them. I just can't fit them all into one video. So if you've had some experience with someone, let us know in the comments and they could be part of our next video. But yes, Aldo Florenzi here. What a gem. 20 years of age, but he's already fantastic and he's got the ability to get way better just yet. He's been at his side for a couple of years as well, so you don't have to worry about waiting to sign him. And he's got tons of ability. The physical attributes are there. The technical attributes are there. He can pass. He can finish. He's got good dribbling ability. Nice long shots as well. Yes, his left foot might be very weak, but who cares when everything else is this strong? His mental attributes also are really good for a 20-year-old player. And for about £600,000... What a bargain. Even though he's playing in the second division of Italy here, I genuinely think this is a Premier League quality player. Certainly has the potential to be if you don't believe he is already. But you could imagine if this guy joined, say, Bournemouth or a club like that, he'd be a really good midfielder for them. Nothing against Bournemouth. I just think this guy is Premier League quality through and through if we're using the Premier League as our example here. And he is just an absolute gem for £600,000. Can't go wrong. Resale value, potential to get better. Aldo Florenzi, make sure you check him out if no one else in this video. Over to another one 
one that should be in most of your saves now. It's Real Madrid and to potential Wonder Kid Oscar Aranda, who does have Wonder Kid potential in some saves, but you are going to have to compete with some big clubs. His contract's expiring. He's valued at about £500,000 because of that. Real Madrid have got no interest in keeping him, but there are clubs such as Porto here who would easily want to snap this guy up. He's a great inside forward on that left-hand side. He's got decent finishing and dribbling ability. He's quick and agile. He can run at players and he's got a good long shot. For £500,000, you really can't go wrong here with Oscar Aranda. Check him out if you haven't. Put your scout on him. See if he's got good potential in your save. If so, try and compete with Porto. Depending on what kind of club you are, you might be able to. Chances are though, they're a big side. You might not. But if you do end up getting him, I don't think there's a better way you can really spend £500,000. He's worth the money easily and there isn't too much more to be said about him. Three players left to go now and we are heading over to Molde out in Norway for 27-year-old Norwegian midfielder Martin Ellingsen. Now he's got a lot of ability and plenty of great player traits. The only flaw with him though is he's got a huge injury straight away. He's out for pretty much your first season but that might mean that his contract will expire. It's expiring in what's that a year and a half's time in this save so by the time that his injury's up he'll have a few months left in his deal. Maybe Molde won't have extended the contract yet and you can pick him up on the approach to sign deal and get a real gem for you. So you might have to wait a year or so for him but technical ability it's there. He's a great passer. He can tackle well. Good first touch. Physical attributes, yes, do let him down a little bit, but he is currently injured. He's 27, and he's got a lot of ability to counteract the lack of pace that he has and the lack of acceleration. Really strong mentally as well. Like I say, plenty of great player traits, and for £1 million, he is a gem. Don't worry, we're nearly there with our last two players, and the last one is one of my favourites, but I also really like this one. It's Chilean international Jauquin Montesinos. Again, apologies if I've mispronounced anything here. I should have said it after this because I've now got to try and pronounce his club name. Tijuana. They're a club out in Mexico. I recognize them. I just can't say that I'm able to pronounce that name very well. Hopefully, I didn't do a terrible job. Apologies if I did. But yes, he is a right footed player on the right hand side, is where he's natural. Valued at about a million and a half. He's worth the money for me. Technical attributes are off the charts. He's also quick with good pace and acceleration, but really nice crossing and dribbling ability. For that reason, even though he's got a decent left foot, I'd be trying to train him, I think, as an inverted winger on the left. And I think once he has that down, you can see the crossings there, the dribblings there, good finishing and long shots as well, really good passing ability, teamwork, off the ball work, work rate. Look, I'm not going to list every single attribute we can see, but he is supremely talented, very cheap. And if you have got him in your save, he could be a great player. I think he's Premier League quality, maybe he's a bench player. Who knows though, with a bit of time and maybe he hits some good form, he could easily be a top five European League level player. And the same applies for our final player here, my favourite. I had no clue about him before I was looking into this video and then I found him and I thought, what a gem. His name is Joros Kabic. He's a Serbian 18-year-old who plays for Vojovo Dina, a club out in Serbia. Again, the pronunciations have been tough in this video and our world tour has gone everywhere from Mexico to Poland to Germany to Serbia and he's worth about 500 grand here is Joros Kabic. Now, not only does he have great current ability, but he has a lot of potential as well. Left-footed on the right-hand side, good crossing, dribbling and finishing. He's got a lot when it comes to the technical aspects, the mentals and also the physicals, but he's got so much time left to grow. Born into 2004. Within a couple of years, when he's 20, 21, he could be a real gem. He's also been at his club for a while now, so there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to go get him. I don't see why he wouldn't want to leave. It's not like he's only recently signed or anything like that. So he could be one for your save. Either he's going to become a star for you or you'll sell him on for a huge profit based on what you've paid for him here. A little bit of training, Kabic here could be awesome. But with that being said, that is our list of players, our list of cheap beasts. If you have enjoyed it, smash the like button and remember to comment down below. That way we'll have a list of cheap beasts in the comments and also some potential candidates for our next video. Uh, they have to be good though, so make sure you put your best ones down there. But there you go, that's the video over, so have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.